The COVID-19 and HIV viruses aren't the same biologically, but as parallels do exist between the two crises, local organizations are learning from both. I think the biggest thing just from the beginning was the outbreak of fear. Human immunodeficiency virus, also known as HIV, was introduced in the 1980s. And just like COVID-19, the new virus was met with fear, misinformation, panic and stigma. The LGBTQ community is definitely a very stigmatized population when it comes to contracting HIV. It doesn't discriminate, and that's the number one factor. HIV can be contracted both sexually and non-sexually. Currently, over 7,000 people are living with HIV in Kentucky, and more than 300 new diagnoses are made every year. COVID actually in a way has put people at a higher risk for contracting STIs and STDs in general, not just HIV, partly because of the social isolation, and the increased lack of reporting. As the efforts of local outreach organizations become even more crucial, they transition to virtual outreach and curbside pickup for safer sex supplies. But in-person HIV testing numbers still lagged. We're hopeful that those testing numbers will increase and improve so that people can know their status and if they're not in care, we can link them into care. The optimism in both viruses continues, especially as science evolves. We are able to stop these, these numbers from increasing and, and spreading the way that they are. And now with the COVID vaccine, it shows you that things and science is there and make sure that we have a way to impact uh, future generations because that's what this is for. Outreach representatives say even amid the pandemic, their goal is unchanged to educate, get people tested and help them live. No matter what, at the end of the day, we'll always be here. Alexis Matthews, WLKY News.